Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Monta Villa Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Genomi Air Thread 2000D Serger. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to thread the machine using lofty thread. This happens to be maxi lock stretch, but you also can use like maybe pearl crown rayon or if you have some woolly nylon. All of those threads are difficult to thread using just the regular, just poke it down in the little holes. So you have a tool in your accessory box, this little looper threader here, and I'm gonna show you how that works. And by the way, when you're using this type of thread, you can get these beautiful finishes like this, where it um, fills this in. I could even have made this a shorter stitch length, so it would almost be satiny looking. So that's the beauty of using decorative threads. So when you go to unthread your machine, now I'm going to leave the needle thread in, and I'm using just the right needle in this case. That's how I did the sample. So when you go to unthread your machine, you'll notice it kind of gets stuck here. The first thing you want to do, lift up your presser foot because that opens the tension discs, and then take and snip your needle thread, and of course snip them up here, and the rest just comes right out. So snipping your needle thread means that that needle thread is now no longer going below the looper, and that helps things go right out. So we're gonna take these guys off of here. I'm gonna put, the yellow here and the blue here, and this is the maxi lock stretch. Normally I'd put it through these holes, but I'm just doing this quickly here to show you. And remember, you need to have your tension discs open, which means press your foot up. And then we're gonna put it into air threading. That's what this little knob is down here. You just turn your hand wheel towards you until these tubes lock. Now at this point, we're gonna take our looper threader tool, and this will have to do with whichever one you're going through. Although I think I noticed that this only has to do with uh, the puff of air, so you could have this either way. But that's fine, I'll do it with this. And we just poke this down through here. It doesn't matter which one you start with. Now when you poke it down through there, Think of it like a drain snake. It's basically how you're working this wire down through here. Now notice how it's come through right here. That's the upper looper. That's exactly what we want. So thread it like normal. And I find it's easiest to take my lofty thread and fold it in half and kind of twist it before I poke that through that, the eye of the uh, looper threader. And then I just pull that through like this. See, that was easy. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. Poke that down in there, kind of move this along, and this. now we're doing the lower looper. We're gonna watch for it coming out right here. Just kind of work it around. And it takes a little bit of working. I'm gonna pull it out and kind of turn it a little bit. There we go. I noticed this, uh, particular looper threader had a little bit of a bend in it and that could be a bit of a problem. Let's try this again. See that bend there? We want to make sure that uh, these don't have a bend in them. There we go. All right. If, if your looper threader does have a bend, I would recommend getting a couple pairs of pliers, a couple pliers and um, Bend that until, there it is, came right out. And just unbend that right there. Just take, make sure that's not bent. Just do it carefully though, because you don't want to put any new bends in it. Okay, then we're gonna take our lower looper thread, fold it in half, poke it through there, and then I like to give it a good foot long. Don't just give it a few inches, because it could let go through inside the tubes there. So a good foot. And then we're gonna work that through, pull that out and that part is done. And then when you put your threads under the foot, make sure they're to the left of the cutter and around towards the back like that. And then of course, uh, do your uh, threading. I'm gonna do that for you. Okay, and then we put that under there. And like that, earlier today, I actually threaded the needle using this threader without my reading glasses. Really cool. It's a great way to thread your machine. So this is how you thread lofty thread in your Genomi air thread serger. 
I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on this machine and on other machines, so keep watching. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you later. Bye.